Whenever you're working on the computer, you'll eventually want to move more than one object at the same time. Whether you want to scale more than one object or rotate it or something, you're going to want to do some kind of operation to objects instead of having to do it one at a time. For example, I have these two french fries here. And let's say I want to scale both of them at the same time, but if I don't group it and I scale this one here, I'm pretty much going to have to line it up on the grid and then put this other one over here and then scale it and try to just look at the other one and try to figure out to the best of my abilities, you know, when to stop scaling this one so that it matches. And this could take a while. Let's say I had 20 french fries and I wanted to make them all the same size so they can dance, for example, on, on some kind of chorus line. Well, instead of having to do it the hard way, what I could do is simply draw a marquee. And you see I have my select tool here. I just simply click and drag to draw a marquee. Or I could also choose select all. Just press command or control A on your keyboard and that will select everything. And then I can go to the tools menu and I can choose group. Now that they are grouped, what I can do is perform the same operation on both of them. And I can resize them, I can scale them, of course I can rotate them. So I can go over here and I can rotate them and I can do whatever I need to with this group. I'm going to ungroup them and now I have them back to the way they were before, their individual french fries. Now, you usually want to do something like this when you have a lot of objects on the screen. So if I had like a hundred french fries or I had like stars or bubbles or whatever I had on the screen here, I just want to make sure I grab all of them. And the good thing about grouping and ungrouping is that it's not permanent. You can always ungroup it. But you also don't have to necessarily group objects if you don't want to. You could just draw a marquee around them and still perform that same operation. Another reason you might want to group something, let me move these guys over. Let's say you draw a character and you know he's got a hat on. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the colors right now. He's got a hat on, he has a band here, and he's got his face. And, you know, you have just the blank face there and the ears, maybe. Now, all these lines are separate. These are all separate elements here. And if I want to, you know, manipulate them later on, and I, I try to, you know, move this character, and I just click with my mouse and drag, I'm only going to grab whatever's in that selection. And that could be a problem. That's why whenever you draw complicated objects, such as a face, and of course you're doing animation, so you might want to leave the face blank so you can have the eyes and, and mouth and nose separate. Well, the nose actually should be here. But if you want to move everything as, as a whole, that's a good idea to group things. So if you're drawing a robot or a car, you know, draw all your complex elements that are going to, you know, be stationary in one a drawing and then just group them together. So that in the future, you can just move this face and the head can rotate and then the eyes can follow and that kind of thing. So grouping and ungrouping can be very beneficial to help you to organize your objects as well as to give you the ability to move them around in one big group at a time and rotate them and apply all your transformations to them in one group instead of an individual basis.